Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to install python on visual code. So to use python on visual code, you should have to install a python interpreter on the visual code IDE. So you need two essential things. One is a python installer that should be already installed on your operating system, whether it is a windows or a mac or ubuntu, it should contain python so if you're not sure how to install python so i will explain how to install python as well so go to python.org and go to downloads here you can see uh, different operating system windows mac os and other platform so mine is a windows so i go with the windows if you are using a mac just go with mac os x and the latest release version is uh, 3.7.2 so just click on the download button it the installation file will be downloaded and again go to visual studio code.visualstudio.com so you have to install this visual studio uh, code ide as well if you haven't installed before so i have already downloaded this python installer and visual studio code setup here so first we will go with python just click on the python so it will ask you to install now or customize installation so i just want to change this path so i will go with custom installation so if you are fine with this path just click on uh, next select this one it will be automatically taken to the next page but i want to make it uh, more customized so select this option select all the option that you are seeing here and click on next and i just want to be installed on python folder and python 37 python 32 so if multiple users are using our machine so just click on this install for all users so that all users who are using this machine can access the python so add python to environment variable so if you click on that it will be added to an environment variable by default so as of now, I'm the only person who is using this machine, so I'm not going to enable this one. Once you're done, just click on next. So it will ask a pop-up do you want to allow this app to make changes to a device? Click on yes. So it will take a couple of minutes to install Python on your machine. So python is successfully installed click on this close so now go to command prompt and enter python here so it will show you the version current version of the python that you are using if it is properly installed on your machine otherwise you will get command not found error so this is uh, one way that you can verify whether you have successfully installed python on your machine or not and also if you even type python it will show you the manuals modules and this uh, python 3.7 desktop uh, app as well so by this way you can confirm that so now we are done with python installation just click on this uh, visual studio because it's time to install visual studio on your machine if you haven't installed this before so click on next the installation of visual studio is very simple all you need to do is just click on next 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 that's it so i just want to change the path as well click on next click on next so if you want to create a desktop icon check this one i want to create a desktop icon so if you want to use other feature you can check that as well but as of now i don't need this one so i click on next and finally click on the install So now it's time to launch the Visual Studio code. 
so visual studio is successfully launched and you need to install python on your visual studio code as well click on this extension and search for python so this is the very first result which shows in the uh, popular extension so if you want you can search python as well if it is not listed so when you are installing the python make sure that the uh, publisher name is microsoft and click on install so we have successfully installed python on visual code so now the visual code studio code is launched so open new folder select the folder uh, it could be something called temp here's click on uh, new file save this file as uh, let's say hello and the file format should be in python select python here click on save now type print welcome so as soon as i type python it's showing that lint or plint is not installed so this is for showing suggestions and error so it is always recommended to install python so click on this install so everything is done this plint is installed now go to debug and click on run so here you can see that it is successfully print the word welcome here you can see that in a debug console as well so if you just want to type anything else let's say hello world and execute this one so go to debug console and you can see that it's successfully printed this one so we have successfully configured python on visual code so that's it if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye